Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to uh, expound you the difference between such properties as client, screen, page, and offset in JavaScript. Let's go. Here we have a short HTML document with uh, um, division with a division with the class and ID result. Here it is, and uh, another division with a class and ID square. Here are our styles, and uh, let's have a look here in our script dot js document we have square and result mm -hmm. uh, these are our objects and i have prepared uh, five functions in, in order to get the values of these event properties so here we go what is the difference let's have a look uh i have uh, set uh, an event listener for our square. It's not a square. Well, it's uh, right now it's a rectangle. Okay, here it is, square. Now, uh, mouse move, and here's the function get result that uh, allows us to see uh, the values of our event properties. Okay, the difference. Uh, let's have a look here. The beginning of our object and our page as well. Here we have sort of, ah, yeah, client x, y, r, zero. Now, yeah, as well as page, as well as, as offset, zero, yes? Uh, seems no difference, uh, apart from screen, of course. Screen means our whole screen. So it's uh, about 112 pixels uh, from the very top of our screen. And uh, X coordinate seems the same. Okay, but what if we set this way? Let's replace our square now we can see the difference more clearly. Look, offset X and Y are zero now, uh, whereas client and page uh, values are 30. Yes, uh, it means, uh, and screen as well, it's uh, 30 and uh, uh, screen Y 142. Uh, as I already mentioned, Screen means uh, the distance between uh, our uh, the edges of our screen and uh, our mouse cursor. Um, then offset property allows us to get uh, the coordinate of our mouse cursor relatively to the object itself. Look, for example, here it's the very beginning of our square, it's offset x zero, offset y is zero as well. Uh, whereas client and page are 30, yeah? By the way, left and top 30 pixels, yeah, that's correct. Uh, and what is the difference between page and client after all? Okay, here we go. Look, let me comment it. Let me return our square back and let's transform our square into a rectangle that goes um, beyond the edge, the bottom edge of our screen. Look, this way. Ta -da. And now look, no difference, yes, between page and client. But if I scroll down, Look, client y and x, yeah, zero. Whereas page is not zero. Uh, page x is zero as it's uh, the very beginning. 
of our page, uh, but page X is 402. It means uh, the distance between uh, the beginning of our page and the current mouse cursor position. But a uh, client shows us uh, uh, mouse uh, cursor position relatively to uh, the current area we can see right now, yes? Uh, so page shows us the coordinates relatively to uh, the whole page, whether it uh, goes uh, um, beyond the bottom of our screen uh, and uh, there is a vertical scroll or ho a horizontal scroll, yeah? Example, look, again, zero, zero client and page. Oh, almost zero, yeah, okay. Then I'm scrolling down, move my mouse cursor. Yeah, you see the difference? Right now, client Y is three, mm, oh, zero, yes. Whereas page Y is 573. That's the distance be um, between uh, our mouse cursor current position and the very beginning of our page. I hope this video is useful. Yeah, today we learned the difference between uh, such event properties as client, screen, page, and offset. So in conclusion, yeah? So screen property shows us the distance between our uh, mouse cursor or uh, an object relatively to the whole screen. Uh, then uh, offset shows us uh, the coordinates inside of an object, for example, yeah, uh, if it's here. By the way, let's do that. For example, why not? Uh -huh. See, offset, zero, so coordinates inside of an object. Then page uh, defines uh, the uh, distance between uh, uh, the edges of our web page. And uh, client shows us uh, the distance between our uh, current mouse uh, cursor position and uh, uh, the current area that we can see in our monitors, yeah? Okay, thank you for attention. Bye.